meeting to order. To begin, I'd like to ask Director Gould to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Director. Metro Cable announcement, the open session meeting is videotaped for Cablecast on Metro Cable 14. Replay on Sunday, August 14th, 2016 at 9 a.m. and Tuesday, August 16th, 2016 at 12 noon on Channel 14. Webcast at dub.sacmetrocable.tv. The open session meetings are also available for viewing on the district website at dub.metrofire.ca.gov. Madam Clerk, do we have any speakers? There are no speakers this evening. No speakers. Thank you very much. Board members, the consent agenda, are there any questions? Mr. Chairman, if it pleases the, the rest of the board, I would move approval of the consent agenda. Thank you. Mr. Chair, I'd like to just make mention of one item on the consent, if I could, for just a second. I think it's important that the community realize that in this consent agenda, there will be an opportunity for us to purchase uh, 30 Lucas chest compression devices, which have been proven uh, that technology time and time again to be a major uh, plus when it comes to the survival of cardiac arrest uh, patients. And so once again, we're, we're leading the, the fight against uh, uh, you know, death in that regard. And so I think this is a huge, huge win for the residents of our community. And, and so I'd like to congratulate the staff for all the hard work that they've been doing in getting us these devices into the system. And I have it on good authority that once they're here, we'll be monitoring very closely the effect that they have in our cardiac arrest scenario. So we'll have some additional science that we'll be participating in um, after they're here, and that will be good for this agency. So congratulations to all of you that are involved in that. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Well said, thank <clears throat> you. Now I'm looking for a second. I'll do that, second the motion. Moved and seconded. Call for the vote, please. Director Mitchell. Aye. Gould. Aye. Orzali. Aye. Wood. Abstain. Kelly. Aye. Ann Scheidegger. Aye. Motion passes. Thank you very much. We'll move to reports. Ow. President's report, I have nothing to report. Fire Chief's report, Chief Wells, good, good evening. Good evening, directors. Um, my report will be somewhat brief tonight. I would like to thank everybody uh, involved, the Community Risk Reduction Division and the single roles and the command staff and um, operations division. We had a fantastic open house at Station 106. That was on the 30th of July. Uh, I appreciated um, Director Clark being out there, and we had a great opportunity to educate the public in terms of fire extinguishers, um, hands-only CPR, and it was a great, great venue. Also, I'd like to also announced that on the 1st of August, we had the Firefighter um, Academy started. It has 18 recruits. Seven of them are external, and 11 are internal single role paramedics. I would like to, you know, it's interesting to make note of that when we say 11 internal single role paramedics. I would like to just acknowledge and, and recognize what that really means. We've actually, in the inception of that program, we've had a total of 92 single role paramedics have transitioned to full-time firefighter paramedics. And so I think it's uh, important to note that that program um, does have a lot of movement in it because it has a lot of people being successful in the ranks of firefighter paramedic is at the entry level. Absolutely. Also, I'd like to say that um, we had our command staff review of the, um, it'll be the proposed final budget coming to this board. Um, we had that meeting last week, and then we have an all budget officers and local 522 review of the 2016-17 final budget, and that will be on the 15th of August um, at 9 a.m. in this very chamber. Also, I'd like to announce that on the 30th of this month, we are going to have our promotion ceremony at 5 p.m. at the Rancho Cordova City Hall. It's a great opportunity for us to celebrate everybody that has been promoted in our organization. And then we have in the logistics division, as a logistic technician, Brian Spence. He's a new hire as of uh, the 1st of August as well. So with that concludes my report. If you have any questions, I'd be glad to answer them. Board members, questions of the chief? Thank you for that chief report, Chief. Chief Bridge, operations report. Thank you. 
President Seidiger, board members, uh, Eric Bridge, operations chief. Uh, reports briefly, just want to let you know how we're helping out our, our uh, partners with CAL FIRE and this have uh, hmm. far-reaching effects down to San Bernardino County. Um, first of all, we have over about 30 personnel out on assignments to help with the master mutual aid system, of which that breaks up to the Soberanus, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, Soberanus fire in Monterey. Um, that one's been burning for weeks now, uh, and I expect to be out there for another couple more weeks. Also, the pilot fire in San Bernardino, where we're helping out, and Cal Fire was able to extend some additional resources down to those incidents as well from the Amador El Dorado unit because we were able to provide them two of our fire engines to cover. So we have crews in the Sutter Hill area in El Dorado County, uh, along with um, one of our dozers. So one of our dozer operators and uh, the additional dozer that we've had have been able to help out with this whole master mutual aid. So we're grateful for that and we have some strong work from our crews there. Uh, we've had, uh, on to keeping up with our averages, we've uh, had about 2,600 dispatches, medical aid dispatches, of which we've transported about 1,900 of those, and our good partners at AMR have also had about 160 dispatches with about 100, about 100 transports. So everything's staying on course for that, and if, unless you have any other questions, that's where we're at. Director Mitchell. Mm -hmm. Chief, just out of curiosity, when you mentioned we had 30 people out, uh, you mentioned we have a dozer out. How many engines are out? I mean, with those people, we have one dozers out, and how many engines? Four engines. Four engines. Thank yeah. you, Chief. You got it. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? I'd just like to, uh, on behalf of this board, express our uh, appreciation to all of you for uh, it's a tremendous sacrifice to our people when they go out in these calls, and yet it's integral to the, the defense of uh, our great state of California. And thank you very much, and to our people. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, <clears throat> Council Lavra. Uh, no report. Okay. Anyone here from five two two? All right. Committee and delegate reports. The executive committee has not met. We have nothing uh, scheduled at this point. Communication Center JPA. Chief Bridge. Yes. Uh, August 30th, thank you. California Fire and Rescue Training, JPA. Director Kelly. Yes, uh, the Fire Rescue Training, JPA, has not uh, met since I last reported out. Uh, we've got a golf game and uh, some fun in Palm Springs planned for our next meeting. Oh, that's terrific. I, I kid, I kid. <laughs> uh, Mid-September, we will be here in the uh, California Exercise Simulation Center. And uh, that meeting will be at 4 p.m. Good. We're happy to hear about the results of that. <clears throat> finance Committee, Director Wood. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The uh, Finance and Audit Committee, uh, next meeting will be on Thursday, August 25th at 5 o'clock in this room. Thank you, Director. And welcome back. Thank you. I know the Policy Committee met. Director Gould. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The Policy Committee met this evening and it uh, took action on three items. The Accommodation Award Wallet Badge for Board Director's recommendation, um, which we approved, and then we will be sending to the full board for consideration under consent the Public Communications Policy and the Petty Cash Policy revisions. We will potentially be meeting uh, next time on September 8, 2016 at 5 o'clock, should the need arise with additional policies that we can find to review. We'll look forward to that. Thank you. Let's move on to board member questions and comments. Director Kelly. Mr. Chairman, I have no questions nor comments. Well, that's, uh, that's good. Thank you. Everything's been answered. Director Rosali. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, only one comment. I have been uh, ceaselessly harangued by the board president regarding my penchant for interpretive canoe your pension? Pensioned for interpretive canoe. And many of the board members have also maligned me <laughs> for my quest to have this become an Olympic sport. For those of you who are interested, the board clerk has available a video which she can email to you 
that further outlines the details of interpretive canoe. So with that, thank you. What did he just say? Th thank you, Director, for that report on your pension. Director Gould. I got nothing. <laughs> Director Wood, welcome back. Thank you very much. Let Director Mitchell say anything. I, I know. I'm getting I'm not, I, I, I didn't. Go ahead, Director Wood. I have nothing. Thank you very much. All right. Director Mitchell, it's all yours. I would like it publicly known that I have not maligned my fellow director. I, I would like to say that publicly. Uh, for, for a good reason. Uh, I would hope I would not be maligned in, in the future because I'm going to be talking to this board about a lot of money and turbine engines, so I would not like to be maligned, so I will not malign. Thank Duly you. Duly noted that you are not a maligner. <laughs> what has happened? Nora Weiner. I think that uh, concludes the uh, board member questions. Um, before we close and adjourn to closed session, I'd like to ask us to all stand for a moment of silence and memoriam to Director Jones' mother, who recently passed. Thank you. We'll adjourn to closed session. Say. You just, you just have to ask for those issues. I'm going to ask.